So pollution is a real issue in big cities. Well, Horace Luke, you have a solution for that, for mobility. How do you reduce pollution here? So last year at CES, we announced this you know, revolutionary design that allows people to swap and go in a city when it comes to energy that it needs to power to an electric vehicle, such as this smart scooter we have in front of us. Over the last year, we've been really focusing on deployment and commercialization. We announced back in March that we're going to deploy in Taipei as the first pilot city. And we started shipping vehicles in August, and in just four months, uh, we now installed over 140 GO stations around town in Taipei. We shipped about 4,000 vehicles, and just in a matter of three and a half months or so, we logged about three and a half million electric kilometer, significantly reducing the amount of pollution that a vehicle of this class actually generates if it was running on gasoline. And so, in uh, you know, in this CES, we of course announced uh, earlier uh, in the month we're going to Amsterdam as the next city in Europe. Uh, as our global expansion plan progresses forward. One of the things, that, however, we did not anticipate was the interest from all around the world, from all the different part of the corners of the world, that wants the Gogoro to solve exactly what you just said, pollution issues that might be facing them today. These might not be the cities of mega city size, but they might not be, you know, they might not be things that are on our radar at the moment. But through the Gogoro Open Initiative and the Go Charger that we just announced, it allows us to gauge the interest from all different parts of the world. So through the GoGirl Open Initiative, it allows users to basically say, I want to nominate myself as a business, myself as a user, or I want to nominate a business nearby to host one of our stations that allow people to charge or swap batteries any, you know, any, part, of, any, any part of the city. And actually swapping the batteries, it seems like it's a very uh, painless process. It's a very painless process. Uh, you pull up to a station, and within six seconds, you put your old batteries in, the ones that are depleted, and within six seconds, two new batteries comes out there fully charged, pops it back to the vehicle, and off you go. That swap and go experience allows you to basically overcome all the challenges of traditional electric vehicle um, issues that are facing us today, such as range, uh, hassleness of charge, or time it takes to charge. It literally only takes about six seconds for you to swap batteries, and off you go again for 60, 60 miles. And if you're traveling, you know, traveling at a top speed of 60, you know, this vehicle can 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 basically go through town in a very sippy way. So, how does that work as far as a charge? Well, a dollar charge. Uh, do you does the user pay for that uh, privilege of swapping the batteries, or so? We basically have two business models that, that combines into one. For the part that you actually cares for the most, such as the performance, the look and feel of the vehicle, the design, the safety of the vehicle, you buy that. But we don't sell the battery with it. What we do is then offer a leasing program on the battery that allows you to be part of a subscription leasing model that allows you to swap battery anytime, any place you want. And for a little fee as, you know, in, in Taiwan, uh, for as little as $10 US, uh, you can swap and go. And the, really, the usage you know, determines how much you pay. $10 a month or? $10 a month. But it, of course, with, the more you use, the more it costs. But the goal is to make sure that we don't go over what you would traditionally pay for in a gasoline vehicle. Uh, that's, you know, that's a real breakthrough here. It's to allow our consumer to have even a better consumption model, a better, you know, more cost effective, at the same time, more ease of, ease of use and a better user experience than, let's say, a gasoline vehicle today. And if you don't know, gasoline vehicle of the same class, let's say a 125cc scooter, like for example a Vespa or Yamaha, produces about five to 20 times more pollutants per kilometer than an electric vehicle today. Uh, depends, depending on where you get your energy from and what the grid, uh, how the grid generates energy, it can be significantly more polluting to ride a gas vehicle than it is to ride an electric vehicle like the GoGro Smart Scooter. And what's really cool about it is it's really cool. You've got it all outfitted with the accoutrements that you'd expect in an electronic vehicle. Well, you know, to us, it's really exciting. I came from a consumer electronics space. I was a chief innovation officer of HTC before, uh, one of the first people to build Android phones and, of course, build a, build a huge industry around really exciting, smart products. And one day I thought to myself, how come you couldn't take that same creativity, same technology, same innovation and connectivity and apply it to transportation? And this is the first vehicle that we did uh, that really showcases the creativity of 3C, you know, the consumer electronic category, and apply it to energy and apply it to transportation. And this is what we created. 
And you can change the color of it and uh, lock it, unlock it remotely with your phone, etc. Yeah, one of the big announcements we did at, at CES this year is you no longer need a key. So, you know, traditionally in a vehicle, you know, you need a hardware key. Last year, we announced the product with a Bluetooth key. And this year, you get rid of the Bluetooth key. You just use an Apple, Apple Watch or Apple iPhone or an Android phone. And you just, you know, unlock or open the trunk with the vehicle as easy as, you know, clicking a button on the, on the, on the screen. And it also, uh, you can uh, even uh, put your own sound so you can identify it in the parking lot, right? You can not only create your own sound, you can change the color of the display, you, you can change the performance characteristic of the vehicle. From here at Las Vegas, I can actually s see my vehicle back in Taipei and diagnose the vehicle completely remotely, seeing whether or not, you know, down to the key fob, whether or not I have enough battery in the key fob so when I go up to it next, I wouldn't run out of, you know, run out of energy. That level of connectivity is really exciting for us to bring the vehicle that connects to your phone, that then connects to you know the energy network that allows you to swap and go and and and, and not have to worry about a thing when you come to comes to adopting an electric vehicle. And then with this open network, the idea is that you'll have these chargers distributed all around a city, whether it be its homes or businesses, right? That's exactly right. With the open initiative, you can go up online onto gogrocom slash open. And it, you can actually go and sign up for one of the chargers for free. So if you're, let's say, a coffee shop or you're a place of business that you would like to place the, via, you know, the, the charger at a very prominent location, we'll also publish that onto our app. So it allows users to basically, as they go around the city, let's say you're grabbing a cup of coffee, you can top off your battery when you go into a, into a coffee shop. Really allows our user to travel around town without a worry on their mind when it comes to electric charge, which is traditionally a huge barrier when it comes to adopting electric scooters or electric vehicle of any kind. We want to overcome that in a big way, and that's what we're deploying you know, in, in, uh, in later this year. And they seem to be fairly reasonable for a mobility solution. Yeah, and uh, for example, um, this vehicle uh, is very comparable to a 125cc vehicle uh, in, in any part of the world. Uh, in Taipei, and of course this is not, does not reflect prices around different parts of the world based on different tariffs and different customs and, and different fees that it takes to actually to ship a vehicle to, to a different part of the world. But in Taipei, for example, this vehicle is made in Taipei, so when we ship in Taipei, this vehicle costs a little less than $2,700 and with subsidy is less than $2,000, so it's a very reasonable uh, cost to adopt such a, you know, such a innovative vehicle to go around town. So when do you expect us to be able to go around town here in the US? Well we're you know we're now the vehicle is certified for Europe uh, we just got a certification uh, a couple weeks ago so we announced that we're going to Amsterdam as the first European city and then more European cities come. We're anticipating second half of the year to get uh, certification for the US uh, and then hopefully we we'll have some exciting announcement to make after that. Excellent well I really appreciate your uh, time Horace and good Excellent. luck. Excellent thank you very much.